If you're struggling with Solana data, then this is the video for you. In this video, we will learn how we can get Solana data in a more optimized and scalable way using Yellowstone gRPC API, which is based on Geyser plugin. So without any ado, let's jump into it. Yellowstone gRPC API is available via QuickNote Marketplace as a QuickNote Marketplace add-on and it's based on Geyser plugin. So using it, you can access Solana data in a more efficient, optimized and scalable manner. It uses the Geyser plugin, which is a plugin for Solana validators, which uh, does not put a lot of load on the Solana validators and uses efficient techniques to access data or create data streams. So to use this Yellowstone gRPC API add-on from QuickNode, you just need to go to your QuickNode dashboard, go to the endpoint section, then navigate to your Solana mainnet endpoint, then go to add-ons, and then navigate the Yellowstone gRPC plugin. And once you find it, click on explore, then install it. And once installed, it will be activated on your Solana endpoint. And once activated, it will be available under the installed add-on section of your endpoint. And to see what methods you can use for Yellowstone gRPC plugin, just navigate to the docs section, which will be linked below. And you will be able to find all the grpc methods which you will be able to use using the yellowstone grpc add-on or geyser plugin under the hood so let's go back to our endpoint and this is how it will look like you just need to configure your endpoint into your code like this where you'll have to get the front portion of your quicknode rpc endpoint and add a port number 10,000, which is the port for Yellowstone gRPC API, and then add your QuickNote token or API token separately, like this. We will see that in the code example in a sec. Now, let's see how we can use this Yellowstone gRPC API to get Solana data. So, over here, I have a script to monitor all the new token mints created on pump.fun. So, what we are doing over here first is just importing a bunch of libraries we are importing the yellowstone grpc library over here to send grpc requests to our endpoint and then what we are doing is we are also importing solana web 3js and base 58 library to convert our transaction signatures into base 58 format then we have a bunch of constants and uh, this is how you configure your endpoint over here so let's take an example of our actual endpoint so just copy the endpoint from your quicknote dashboard you can copy it like this then go back to your code and let's say that i paste my endpoint over here so this is my endpoint so this part of my endpoint until pro goes here and you'll have to add a suffix with a colon and the suffix will be 10,000. So that is the port number for Yellowstone gRPC API. And then the token or API token goes here. So now our script is all set with our QuickNode Solana mainnet endpoint, which is enabled with Yellowstone gRPC API. So this is over here, these constants will help us connect with our endpoint and then what we are doing is we are creating a variable with the pump.fun program id then we are adding a instruction discriminator so that we can look for particular instructions emitted by the pump.fun program and then we are creating a filter config in that what we are doing is we are saying that program ids will be this and instruction discriminators will be these then we are creating a accounts to include configuration or constant array in that what we are doing is we are adding the accounts we want to monitor so in this case we just want to monitor the mint accounts of the newly created tokens on pump.fun so that's why we have just added mint but if you want to add more accounts you can add them in this array and over here we have an interface 
formatted transaction data which will take the structure of the formatted data we want to get so over here we have account name string and the account name are the accounts we get from accounts to include so over here it will mean mint string and then we have our main function which will initialize the grpc client first using the endpoint and the token which we saved or established over here then we will have a stream created or initialize a stream which will use the subscribe method of the yellowstone grpc api and then there is a request variable which will be used to create the subscription request which is a helper function which we will be seeing in a bit and then we are sending the subscription request to the stream and then handling the stream events all right so let's look at the helper functions the first helper function is create subscribe request so what this function does is it will specify that what we are looking for so in this case we are looking for pump.fun transactions which we get from filter config which we defined earlier and it also defines the structure of the data which we get which you can look at the different methods available under the yellowstone grpc api documentation again linked below and then comes the send subscription request because what we are doing is we are creating the subscription request over here now what we need to do is we need to write that subscription request to the stream which we had created earlier so what we are doing is we are writing the subscription request which we just created to the stream using this send subscribe request function and then what we are doing is we are handling stream events because a stream will have multiple events sometimes it will have data it might also have an error it can end or it can even close so we are just handling those events from stream but until here we are just handling the events we are not processing the data whatever we are getting so to process the data we have a handle data function what this function does is it checks if the incoming data only has the transactions which we define in the pump fun configuration over here in create subscribe request function we then later on also filter that data further on to just include the instruction we had mentioned earlier from fun dot fun then we format the signature and the instruction data and then we log all the data and we also have a function match instruction discriminator to check if the instructions are matching the discriminator we described over here so once all of this is done what we are doing is we are just calling the main function so now let's see that how this works let me increase this so to run this so ts mode index dot ts now you can see that we have established the geyser connection to our validator node you can also see that we have already started receiving pom dot one new means created or new token means created and this will keep on running and keep on sending new data about new tokens minted on pom dot fun so this was just an example of how you can establish a robust connection between Solana blockchain and your application using Quicknode RPC endpoint and Yellowstone GRPC API, which is based on Kaiser plugin. So, if you learn anything from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.